Hannah, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> she wants a chocolate now. <laughs> you dancing now? Shaking that booty? <laughs> All right, we are about to pick up our new headboard. We have not had one our entire marriage. <laughs> Um, and we, I, I was looking online trying to see some, and then I wanted to go to um, the DI. It's a thrift store, so I decided to go to the DI to just look for maybe some furniture that I could um, refinish and either sell or use in our house. And while I was there, um, I found this beautiful king size headboard and footboard. The only problem is it doesn't have the side railings but that'll be an easy fix I can just get some plywood from the um, Home Depot and put them on so yeah I excited exciting and it was only 50 bucks and I looked online and the one similar go for like $800 so it's never a bad thing to be thrifty <laughs> um, although we could have just easily purchased one online it feels a lot better to be reusing something those good boys getting ready to load it in. They always are willing to do things for me. How sweet. And thanks to Allie for lending me her husband. <laughs> On a Friday night especially. Here it comes. Look how huge it is. Oh my goodness. I don't think it's gonna fit. <laughs> oh no, what do we do? Only downside to owning a king bed. Only downside. There's only other ups. Sure. Hello everyone. So welcome to today's video. Today I am, my goodness, it is raining crazy outside. Look at my door. Yes. Anyways, today I am finishing up um, part of my project. I have a, um, whoo, sorry, still getting used to this camera. I have a headboard that I am working on today. I decided I probably should paint it so that everything matches because I also have to replace some little crown molding pieces. So I decided that I would paint it and I went to Lowe's and I asked the lady, I was like, hey, like what's the best bang for my buck? Because in the past we've um, done the chalk paint on a headboard and we ended up having to use like three cans of that stuff and it ended up being like $80. So really it wasn't much of like a bargain um, because we had to spend so much on paint. Um, so I asked her and she's like, oh, well, if you're just wanting to get your wood darker, which is kind of what I wanted, she's like, I would just go with a gel stain. So I picked up, let me show you what it is. All right, I picked up, so I picked up this can of gel sign and I got it in the color Hickory. Um, because our wood was already kind of darker, so I figured hickory would just make it that dark that I wanted. So I picked up that, and it was $16, and so I was like, okay, like, already it's a little bit cheaper than the chalk paint. Hopefully I don't have to use many cans of this. Like, I mean, it is like a big project, but I mean, I thought maybe okay, you know. And then you also get the finishing gloss, so I got that, which is also $16. And this stain is really jelly like I don't want to open it because I don't want to get it everywhere but it's really jelly so because it's jelly you don't have to use a ton of it like I just would barely dip my paintbrush in and it would go a really long way um so first I had to sand it just a little bit to kind of rough it up a little bit the um the seal that was already on it and then I just spread the gel across wait three minutes and then you wipe it off so I have done the full footboard, the front and back part, and I've barely like made a dent in the can. 
Um, so already this is going way better than our other project. Way cheaper because honestly I don't even know if I'm going to use the full can with using the headboard part. So it's going great and now I'm just doing the gloss part while Elena is taking her nap. That is the hardest part is keeping Elena away while I do this. <laughs> But anyways, it's going really, really well. Um, I'm hoping maybe today I can go get the side rail pieces. Um, but overall, I think I'm going to be able to do our head and foot board for around $100, which is way better, especially because this piece, I looked up one that was similar, and it was going for like $850. So score right there because I didn't have to spend $800. I only had to spend around $100. So awesome. All right. So I have now, anyways, I now have this part done and I have all this sealer on and everything like that. So now we get to work on the headboard part. So, <laughs> this baby is massive. It is so heavy. Like, oh my gosh, so heavy. So, earlier it was leaning up against that back wall and it was facing the wrong way. It So I couldn't get to it to where I needed to paint. So, I just barely was able to get it all moved. So now it's just leaning right like that. Um, but that's as far as I could get it. So hopefully that will stay and I can paint it that way. Huh? Yeah. But it is raining and it's cold. And I wish I could move it into the house, but I, I just can't. So I'm thinking I'm going to bring my space heater out here to try and keep me a little bit warmer. Um... And it's not quite Elena's nap time, so I'm trying to decide if I'm just gonna wait till her nap time, or if maybe I could barricade that door so that she can't get out. I don't know. What do you think, girlfriend? What do you think? Huh? What, do you, what do you think, girlfriend? What do you think? <laughs> All right, but anyways, I'll show you guys what it looks like before. And then we'll hopefully have the big reveal later this week. All right, so hopefully you guys can kind of see the color of it. It's, it's honestly, it's a beautiful color. Um, it's kind of a gray-brown. It's beautiful, and it has so much beautiful detailing to it and everything. So, I mean, I wish I could have kept it this color, but I'm really excited that it is going darker. Um, so, as you can see, like there, it, the crown moldings ripped off. Um, here, another spot where the crown moldings ripped off and around. Um, and then, of course, right now I have the legs unscrewed, so it is taller. Um, but I unscrewed the legs so it would be easier to paint like this, and I've already painted those legs. But anyway, so, and my awesome brother-in-law is cutting me those pieces, and hopefully he'll have them to me tonight, maybe, and he's going to hopefully come and help me glue and staple them on, so, there you guys can see. But anyways, so I'm going to get to it. Right. So I've just done just that top little layer right there, I wanted to show you kind of how you can kind of see the difference in the color so you can see that this is just a little bit more of a brown and darker than the rest so yeah so this is kind of the process all right so after sanding this is the next step and you just put the gloss um the stain on just a thin coat with your paintbrush and then you let it sit for three minutes is what i'm doing right now and then you take just a rag and you begin to just wipe it off. Wipe it off. And you want to go the same direction that the grain is going. And 
and of course, depending on the color that you're trying to get, um, kind of depends on how you wipe off. Um, like there's still some little darker areas. You could leave those. I'm kind of trying to get them to kind of come off a little bit more. But <clears throat> from there, you can kind of see that this is now all been wiped and that still has the stain on. basically finished so let me show you I still need to put the pieces right here um, I'm kind of having some trouble with it so I'll need my husband's help to finish doing that but it is all done those pieces they match perfectly it looks really good so that's it. I still need to get nightstands for both sides. I am trying to find some that I like though, because it just looks horrible. But otherwise, it looks good. I still want to get a few pillows, make it look a little bit better. But I can see I did put that Hobby Lobby pillow right there, and I do like it, but it just needs more. <laughs> So anyways, and then above our bed used to be the J and E, but instead I put them there since that is really tall. I'm thinking of maybe getting some greenery or something to put up there. Um, but yeah, so that's it. And we still just have our black dresser, which the inspiration I kind of got for this had black nightstands. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe want to do like some black nightstands, but at the same time, shh, Luna, shh. But at the same time, I don't like super dark rooms. I like them to be a little bit more lighter colors and, you know, so I'm still debating on if I want to do the black or not. But anyways, yeah, so that's it. It looks beautiful and it seriously like totally changed our room. Like our room used to look so huge and empty and now like... It still looks like a big room, but it looks like a good size room. I don't know. I just love it. 